What's up everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We have to use mapping to transform the point 4 and 2 with the following transformation. So we got this transform function here. y equals negative 5 f of 2x minus 6 plus 1. So notice that this function here, it's in general format, meaning that there's no specific function, specific parent function given. We don't know if this f of x is going to be root x or x squared or absolute value x. We don't know what the parent function is. This is given in general format. And in the lecture videos, I go over the different types of formats of functions. So make sure you watch that if you haven't, where I specify whether a function is given in general format like this, or whether a specific format where the parent function is stated. So we don't know what the parent function f of x is, but we do know that the point 4 and 2 is on the function. And then this parent function, we're going to be transforming it here to negative uh, 5 f of 2x minus 6 plus 1. So this point is going to transform to some kind of x and y coordinate. And that's what we're trying to find here. So what we have to do is we have to figure out what's the a value What's the k value? What's the d value? What's the c value? What are the transformation values? And then once we have those, we're pretty much going to take this point on the parent function and put it through the formula x over k plus d. That's what we're going to do with the x value, with the x value of 4. And then we're going to do a y plus c with the y value of 2. So what's the a value here? going to be? Well, it's this, the number that's outside of the f of the function. So it's negative 5. What about the k and the d value? Those are usually related. Well, notice that this here, 2x minus 6, there's a 2 attached to the x. And when, in, when um, you have a function in the general format, remember the x has to be by itself. It has to be in the format a f of k bracket x minus d plus c. So that k has to be factored out. So we would actually rewrite this function here as 2 bracket x minus 3. That x has to be by itself. And now notice it's in this format. So the a value we know is negative 5. The k value is 2. The d value is what? 3. Positive 3 because it's x minus d, x minus 3. So the d value is 3. It's always the opposite sign of what's here. So notice it's positive. And then that c value is simply plus 1. So we have all of the transformation values, and now we could plug in all of these into the formula. So the x value that we're transforming is the 4. So we're going to take the 4, divide it by 2, and then we're going to add 3, that d value. And then the, uh, the y value of 2, we're going to multiply by a, which is negative 5. So we're going to have negative 5 times 2 plus c, which is 1. So 4 over 2 plus 3, that would be 2 plus 3, which would give us 5. And then negative 5 times 2 is negative 10 plus 1, negative 9. So that there is the final answer. The point 4 and 2 gets transformed to 5 and negative 9. That is the final answer, right? So again, we're not given an actual parent function. This is in general format. It's, a, it's a f of 2x minus 6. But we are told that 4 and 2 is on the parent function. So then we just have to transform it to this function using that transformation formula and using the transformation values. And we get 5, negative 9 as the final answer.